you know, working in this consortium has been a, been a blast uh, there, for a number of reasons. One is the colleagues that I've been working with, uh, both in Madrid and Boston, have been absolutely wonderful. Um, you know, we've we've struggled with many many challenges. We've developed a shared vision, um, but but we come at it with different perspectives. But we've been able to hash through um, a lot of ideas and 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 see successes along the way. There are already new uh, projects that have come together, new relationships, you know, as yet very small because we've only been in existence for a year, but, but truly tangible benefits have come from that. And being a part of that excitement has, has been terrific. The, the, uh, the other piece that's been really rewarding has been to watch fellows and, and even young faculty grow through the process of being involved, involved in this. Um, uh, you know, the first day and the first weeks of the fellows program, um, it, it would have been easy to look at it and say, no way, this is not going to work, it's going to be an unmitigated disaster, nobody seems to know anything, they're naive about medicine. You know, you could have developed a laundry list of reasons why we're headed into the abyss and, uh, and we should abort now. Uh, we didn't abort, it was an abyss, but we've come out the other side. And I think now if you look at the sophistication of the, of the, the projects that are underway, of the ideas that have been developed, especially as a portfolio, the relationships that have been built, um, you, you would not have been able to predict it with certainty based on, the, on a snapshot in July. Um, but it's, it's been, I think, both exciting, exhilarating, gratifying on the part of the faculty uh, to have seen that happen.